Hello, YouTube. Today I'm going to make a quesadilla. All right, I'm going to start. And now what I'm doing is heating the pan. Sounds like an inconsequential step, but it's actually one of the most important things in making a quesadilla. And one thing I see neglected very often when I went to look uh, up um, quesadilla recipes on YouTube, even like the the top uh, the top watched videos. I think the top one was binging with Babish, and uh, his one line was, uh, "All you have to do is." Uh, mess with the heat or something like that. And it's like, whoa, that's a huge step right there. That's one of the most important things of getting a good quesadilla. So I'm gonna heat up the pan. And uh, what I'm doing right now is um, I'm heating up the handle first. And I'm doing that because when you put the heat on, put the pan on the burner like that, this is the last place the heat goes. So get that going first and it gets the pan heated up quicker. And what you want to do is, if you need a medium low, you want as much medium low heat as the pan could hold. It's not the temperature of the surface that's the most important thing. It's how much total heat energy the pan holds. You're gonna need different amounts of heat energy for different things you're cooking. So, um, what I'm going for to begin with, with this is, um, you want a medium, medium high heat, somewhere between medium high and medium. So I got it on high right now, but I'm gonna drop that as the pan warms up. This will take a couple minutes. While I do that, I'm gonna grab the uh, tortilla. I like this brand. And we're also gonna need some fat. Ah, one of my uh, one of my old chefs that I worked for told me about my last video. I shouldn't say say the word fat. I don't care. I'm gonna say the word fat. And I got some lard that I rendered out of. Where did this come from? Oh, right. Yes, I uh, I uh, roasted some um, pork shoulders, and that came out of those. So now I'm using it to cook with because it's delicious. Okay, that handle's good and hot. Grab this ugly looking uh, pot holder. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn down, this is an old stove and I love it. These are really nice responsive burners on these. Not quite like using gas, but a lot better than most new, newer uh, electric ranges. So I'm turning that down to medium low. Uh, I think I got the burner, I went a little too long on high, so I'm gonna turn the burner down to low. Or maybe even to, sim this has a simmer setting. This is smoking and you really don't want that, so I'm just gonna take that off the heat and let the uh, burner cool down for a minute. This is doing something. At least that's what I tell myself. All right. You know you're where you're at. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'm a crazy man. I'm a mad lad. I have asbestos fingers. I used to tell my lunch ladies at the school. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> this feels like it's pretty close, but um, yeah, I think I'll roll with that. All right, so now the pan is pretty much evenly heated. What I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna go up to medium high heat. Then I'm gonna grab, grab my tortilla and I need a spoon. for the lard.
You could tell I've really planned out these videos. It's not easy shooting in these kitchens and I wish I could do more, but it's always such a big production. I have to have two lights, two cameras, uh, a separate um, audio recorder to record my voice. That was a little too much fat. Don't say fat. I'm gonna say fat. I like saying fat. Fat, 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 fat. That was a little too much fat though. That's okay. All right. Got a little bit of smoke, but not too much. So I'm just gonna turn it back down. That's down there. Hear that? That's what you wanna hear. Okay. And I like to kind of get the get the fat uh, kind of like smushed in so it absorbs into the, the tortilla. I find that gives it a better um, crispy texture. And I like to let it go just by itself, just like that. And I'm just doing a cheese, cheese quesadilla. I'm not putting any fancy filling in it. This was just to demonstrate heat control when making quesadillas. I think I went a little too low, so I'm gonna turn it back up a little bit. You wanna keep hearing that a little bit of sizzle. I'm gonna, okay, that's good. Maybe not, maybe I can go down. All right, I think it is ready to go down. So once you start getting a little bit of color on it, you wanna turn it all the way down. As far as I'm concerned, once you get that color on it and you go all the way, bring the heat all the way down, that could sit there for, you no, know, 10 minutes and get nice and crispy. That's how I like it, but um, I also like it with a little bit of crisp and still a little bit soft on the, on the inside of it. Now, I like to do it with one tortilla. That's just how I prefer. I haven't really messed around with doing, um, you know, putting the cheese down here and doing the flip. That was probably a little more cheese than it needed, but what ifs. Normally I'd be, normally I'd be uh, taking cheese from the bag, but now I'm on camera. I have to be a little more careful. I had a few people bust me on uh, using my finger to taste the mayo in my last video. And I was like, you know what, it's my mayo. And uh, my sister said, uh, my sister said something like, you know, I seen uh, Paula Dean do that too. And at first her reaction was, wow. And then she realized, wait a minute, she could do whatever she wants. She wants, that's her food. And I was like, you know what? That's the rational response. And that's who I'm making videos for. Got meltage on the cheese. Let's uh, just take a look under here. Yeah, I think I started off a little too hot. I'd like a little less color at this point so it could go longer and get a little crispier. And maybe I could go up a little bit on the heat. It's really difficult to say where your heat should be at any given point. You just have to get a feel for it. And that's, and that's why I made this video because people don't really talk too much about that. All right. All 
All right, then we just get a paper plate. And a knife. It's probably better to cut this on a cutting board, but I don't like cleaning things. And if I'm making a quesadilla, it's because I want something quick without any fuss. Get a good look at that. Beautiful. And then I just eat it like that. That's got the perfect texture. I'm very happy I was able to do that, pull that off perfectly on camera the first try. All right, like, comment, and subscribe.